there is a saying, why go for something expensive if there's a cheaper option? Welcome to Ismail Hobby. Today, I will show you how to make a proper DIY monitor bezel-free kit that is both effective and affordable. After several iterations, I have ultimately decided to crown this DIY bezel-free kit design as the simplest and most effective. As for the design, I will include it in the description box. You can download it for free there, and don't forget to support the original designer. I've only added a few modifications that, in my opinion, make the DIY bezel-free kit easier to use and give it a more appealing appearance. I will also list the materials in the description box, including a purchase link for the Fresnel lens I used. However, the purchase link is only valid for Indonesia. Friends from other countries can look for it in their local stores or online marketplaces available in your respective regions. First, let me explain a bit about the modification I made. I used epoxy glue to fill in part of the screw hole, which was too large for the action cam screw I used. The default screw size is M6, but since I couldn't make changes to the original 3D file, I could only patch it with epoxy glue. If any of you have the skills to redesign and modify the original 3D design, feel free to comment in the comment section. You can also contribute by sharing the link to your modified version. Uh, the screw size for action cams is usually M5. I chose an action cam screw because it has a design that is easy to turn and also looks good. Uh, this makes it convenient for me to attach and detach it from the bezel-free kit. The original designer of this DIY bezel-free kit created a hole for the lens sheet with a size of approximately 63 millimeters. Here, I used a width of 60 millimeters. What I did was simply fold the top part of the lens so that it stays in place when inserted and doesn't fall out. As for the bottom part, I just tucked it in. Next, I will explain a bit about the Fresnel lens sheet I used. Before cutting it, make sure to first observe the direction of the light refraction displayed by the lens sheet. There is a side with a silvery tint and another side that is more transparent. Choose the transparent side to face forward. Here I have a stream deck which I will use as a reference to observe how the light is refracted by this lens sheet. You can see that we, when we rotate the lens sheet, we observe a difference in the refraction it produces. There's an up and down mirror effect like this, or when we rotate it 90 degrees, it creates a left and right mirror effect like this. Uh, the mirror effect we choose is the left and right one, so make sure not to make a mistake and ensure you select the correct orientation. Once everything is confirmed to be correct, you can proceed to cut the lens sheet with the proper orientation and the size you prefer. The ideal width, which I have tested, ranges between 58 to 63 millimeters. This width will affect the angle between each monitor placed side by side. The nut is actually useful for protecting the back of the monitor from scratches when tightening the 3D printed mounting. Next, insert the lens sheet from the top, folding the upper part slightly to keep it from falling. Then, insert the bottom part into the lower section of the 3D printed mounting. All done. Very easy, right? This is an affordable solution that you can achieve for even less than $20, depending on where and how much the materials cost in your local marketplace, including 3D printing services. If you have your own 3D printer, it will certainly be more economical compared to using 3D printing services. That's all for my video this time. Hopefully this video is helpful and this Asus bezel-free kit killer can be a great and affordable solution for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video. I'm Ismail, signing off. Ciao.